Hello everybody, New Ticket in a Box here, uh, bringing you a quick video. Uh, well, I just downloaded the new build of Project Zomboid, and I immediately noticed I started up a new world. They have completely overhauled all of the RPG elements. Now, I haven't seen anyone do this, so I'm I'm really just doing this. This is for the benefit of new players or people who have just updated to the build. But I'm going to give a quick overview over what kind of every single one of these classes. I've got about 60 hours in the game, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. But we're just going to go through pretty much every perk and every profession. And see the pros and cons of them all. So the first one we have is the unemployed, of course. But 8 free skill points. That is amazing. If because that's pretty, this is probably a very good class for more experienced players though, who know exactly what perks they like. They played multiple kind of runs. They know which parts they like. For instance, I could see myself building a pretty good, pretty good class. For instance, just picking I don't know. Um, we're strong. I might have increased the strong price though. Yes, they have. I thought they might have because it was a little bit underpriced. So basically what this would do is, say I took that, I only need to pick one of these really small ones. For instance, I could pick Slow Reader. That's not a good perk. Do not pick that. Or Short Sighted. I could pick one of these or I could even pick another one and then I could have Outdoorsman. I could have it. This is a very versatile class or very versatile profession. So Fire Officer. You just get an extra little bit in running. I would say this is an all-round kind of combat class. If you if you expect that you have to fight quite a few zombies, it's a good class to pick. This is, of course, the normal weapon handling one. That's what it's always been, and I hope that's what it stays stays as. Uh, aiming, you see, you get a good good foundation in aiming. Fitness is about the same. Nimble, so that is actually sneaking. That's interesting. I haven't seen a stealth class. They might have introduced one. Uh, reloading is always good. But again, don't pick this class unless you know for a fact that you have a lot of guns. Say if you're respawning after you accidentally died, this is a good class to pick if you've already got a couple of shotguns and pistols stockpiled. Uh, the park ranger is the wilderness survival kind of guy. That's what I expected. Actually, I saw that they had a perk which was, um, I think it was former scout, yeah. First aid and foraging, so you could actually build a pretty good kind of wilderness survival character, you know, you could just um, pick up a knife, wander off into the woods, make a new life for yourself in the zombie apocalypse. So I can see that working for you, but that's really what you should pick if you're doing that. Uh, the construction worker is interesting, they've switched him around a bit because they've divided his speciality into... Because he used to be the kind of the handy, used to have the handy perk. I think they might have put that into, yeah, it's in the universal ones now. So basically, he's kind of been split into this carpenter class as well. So this is now the blunt weapons, weapon speciality character. Uh, his carpentry is okay. So this is a 50-50 combat slash building. This is your builder right here. And then your security guard is your generic get more done during the day but you're out you'll be le a bit weaker I think I mean your strength is still normal but you're not as combat orientated so burglar that is good although I'm disappointed that they didn't put it also oh, nimble isn't maybe nimble is being able to dodge being bitten I don't know but uh, that's interesting that they haven't put lock picking as a perk. I think that's a good idea. It's hunting. Oh, hunt. That's interesting. Yeah, burglary. The burger burglar probably is a kind of mixed class. He's a stealth class basically. I'm disappointed that there wasn't. He doesn't get a buff to opening windows, which would be really useful. The chef, of course, is your cooking man. And a little bit of blade maintenance and blade accuracy, which I'm surprised at. I would have understood the blade maintenance, but I suppose blade accuracy as well. But yeah, that's your real cooking, kind of cooking class. Uh, the repairman is just a maintenance, looks like. You get carpentry. So this is a 50, 
this is kind of um, keep your stuff running. He's probably he gets probably gets quite a few perks. Um, good perks to pick with him. Probably things like. Uh, hang on, why am I looking at the negative ones? What are you doing? Handy would be useful, and then probably organize because you want you want to be able to um, basically build fight things quickly and barricade windows up quickly. Resi runner might be useful. Low thirst, no. But yeah, he's uh, interesting because he'd probably be useful. Former scout would actually probably be quite good because you can scavenge some materials for yourself. Dexterous, yes, that's good. Kind of thing. Those are the kind of things that you're gonna want to pick with this guy. Farmer is farming. Funny that in the name. So this guy is interesting because. They it, this is a really kind of late game focus class because they recently retweaked all of the I wouldn't say retweak overhauled the farming systems and now it's gonna take a lot longer I don't know if they implemented that yet I haven't farmed anything in a while I've just been living off cans uh, fisherman useful but limited unless you're in West Point which is the town near the river. You should be pretty good, pretty well set on food if you can find a fishing rod. Although, it is interesting that they have picked. He's kind of an interesting class because it's, you wouldn't think that's the sort of thing you, they'd put in. Uh, the Doctor is a good. Well, you're going to keep yourself alive, basically. That's really useful. Although, I would say the nurse is actually probably a better pick, I would say. Because, one, oh, they cost the same. But he is, she is it. That, the class is not as restricted. You see, if you pick doctor, you only get the first aid. But if you pick the nurse, you get first aid and light-footed. And your fitness is a bit. Which you do. No, but you get extra, which is good. And then here's the one I'm really interested in, which is the veteran. Now, if you look down here, your points cost is huge. But you get the perk desensitized. Which I played a bit with this class. Completely negates the panic system. Now, this is interesting because if you like me who doesn't really like the new panic system, that's just my opinion, I find it a little bit annoying, but it is definitely more realistic, but it, it's interesting because it means that, you, if you say you're using a rifle or a shotgun, you're never going to have to compensate for, you know, your, your character's aim is never going to waver, so he's actually very good if you're interested in building or role playing as a soldier coming into the infected zone, so, interesting class, Probably the most interesting one on here, for me at least. The Lumberjack is... He's inherited the Axeman perk from the... The original, the old Firefighter class. Um, you'll notice that he's got Blade Accuracy plus Strength. So he's completely bladed axe weapons. Obviously, he's a Lumberjack. I mean, it'd be a bit weird if he specialised in culinary de delicacies. But still. Fitness Instructor, pretty self-explanatory, just get perks to sprinting. Burger Flipper is interesting as he's a 50-50% 50-50 split between the chef and the Actually, he's just a worse version of the chef, actually. Yeah. He's pretty he, he he's um as real life for burger flippers there, um it's lower than chefs, I'd guess. That's no offense if you're a burger flipper flip fliffer. That's not a word. Ben, yeah, no offense. But you know what I mean. It's, um, yeah. I mean, a chef and a burger flipper are different things. But it's interesting that the, he's, he's kind of um, a watered down version, I would say. Anyway, on to the perks. I'm only going to go over the new perks because the old perks are pretty well. Everyone knows what they are. And most of them are pretty self explanatory. For instance, athletics is just you run faster and get tired less. So, yep. uh, adrenaline Junkie. That is interesting because that's a high risk, high reward kind of play style. Angler. 
You could be, you could build the ultimate fishing character by taking the fisherman class and the angler perk. There you go. I've built someone a class for a playthrough. Uh, the baseball player is interesting because it's just a one blunt accuracy. I've noticed they put in a lot more of the kind of smaller perks. For instance, Gardener, you know, all the perks don't actually add that much. They used to be quite... I think the, the idea is because now that the uh, the professions take uh, have their own points cost, it's the idea is to negate some of the cost of these with these. Hang on, does it unlock its own one? No, it doesn't. What are you doing? Right. I think desensitize is actually a perk on here. No, it's not. Right, so he's got his unique perk then. That's good. That's good. Anyway, some of these are pretty good. Wakeful is needs less sleep. Uh, strong and stout are always good ones. Self-defense class is interesting because it's a blade slash blunt guard. So that's actually good because you can probably block a lot better. Well, you can block. What am I saying? You, you maybe can. You can block a lot better. So that will improve your combat survivability a lot. Organized, very good. Outdoorsman is the same as it's always been. Resilient is just a rebrand of good immune system, I think. Uh, runner, pretty good. Thick skinned is been has been nicked from the construction worker class, which is kind of sad. I mean, I used to li love playing as that guy, but well, I think now from now on I'll probably either play as the lumberjack fitness instructor. Actually, it, the nice thing about these new professions is it will make people branch out a lot more because there used to be only fi five five options. Now you got all of these for you to try. Anyway, let's go down here. Illiterate, which I think is quite funny. That is going to hamper your progress immensely. That is why it's a plus eight, I guess. Obese is... Whoa! Oh, wow. That is debilitating. Pacifist is an interesting perk. I can see a cool role-playing character where you play as a veteran and then you pick the, the pacifist perk. And you could kind of play as some, kind of this, um, I don't know. Um, it's just a cool idea. Anyway, slow reader. Slow reader. Apparently, I'm Sean Connery now. Unlucky is good. Weak stomach. Ugh. Weak, weak. Slow reader. I can see some of these being real hampers, though. Like, sleepy head is not too bad. That's why it's a plus four. But anyway, I'm just I think that's about me done. I think you could probably build a huge amount. Definitely these new skills introduce a huge amount of variety to the game, which is something I was I I was kind of I'm not bored with the game, but I find it a little bit repetitive sometimes because it's pretty much you get in, you build yourself a little base, you then defend off the first horde that attacks you, you then continue to construct your base. And that's about it. Then, then you die because you smashed your arm open. You smashed a window open with your arm when you meant to use the axe because the game glitched and you, it made you punch the window for some reason. And that's about it. I can see myself probably either using the doctor, probably the nurse, actually the lumberjack, the veteran, or the repairman are all ones I want to try. The reason why I want to try the nurse especially is because the new medical system seems seems to just screw me over because I keep forgetting to it, it, I know it tells you that you got lodged glass shards but I, I tend to forget or I don't realize that you need to sew up a large wound or things like that painkillers painkillers are actually really useful now they used to just be kind of oh painkillers my guy is in pain that's good no painkillers you actually need them now otherwise you increase stress and you bleed faster which is kind of depressingly realistic. Anyway, some of these new perks are amazing. Some of these are debilitating. It really is. Go and have a look for yourself. Decide. Probably uh, if you're a brand new player and you're just watching this to find out about what kind of classes are in the game. Uh, things you're going to want to look at is probably... Try first with the fire officer, because he is 
pretty much all positive and he is zero so all of these you can pick a good combination uh, the construction work I was the one I used to recommend but I wouldn't I wouldn't now what I would suggest to you is do not play beginner mode I know it's beginner mode and thus it's meant to be more ha more kind of leaner on the new players don't play it play the hardcore mode play the normal mode because that's how it's meant to be played don't ease yourself into it hit yourself on the brick wall um yeah I can see the fitness instructor being good for new players. Stuff I would not recommend to new players is especially police officer and probably chef, don't bother. Farmer, definitely don't use that for your first playthrough. Fisherman is pretty good, but again, really limited by geographical features. Uh, the doctor is pretty. Pr doctor and the nurse. I would suggest the nurse for new players. So your kind of options I'm suggesting are the nurse and the fire officer. Nurse is because of the new medical system. It's. I'll probably do a video on that as well. But it's very, very complicated and will probably destroy you. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the first part of this kind of overview series. Um, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can get notified when the next part comes out. Next part will be on what you should do once you're in the game, kind of priorities, first things you should do, and what type of area you should pick for your base. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!